What's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. It is cooking hot here, so I'm sweating my freaking head off, but you know, other than that, it's not too bad. Um, I just wanted to jump into a quick video today. Um, this is kind of my new current project that I hope you guys don't get sick of hearing about, but you know, it's what I'm doing right now, so um, I figure I share it with you. So, um, I am in the process of creating a quote unquote better CD function. Um, if you've seen the other couple videos I've put out on it, um, I just wanted something a little more functionally like ZSH when it came to CD and Bash. And I think it's morphed into something a little more than I was expecting. So basically, let's go ahead and take a look at the function real quick and then we'll show it in action now because I think it's morphed far beyond just a CD command and I'm heading towards terminal file manager territory here. So let's go ahead and go to workspace one and this is my function here for it. You can see the better CD function. Um, basically what it does is it's going to just CD into um, whatever directory you choose to CD into it like normal if you have an argument after the CD command. If you don't have an argument after the CD command though, what it's going to do is it's going to use F and it's going to bring up a list of everything in the current directory. It's going to have a preview window with everything that's in the next directory. Or if you're on a file, it's going to show a preview of the file. So we went all over all of that in the last video. Well, I've added a few things here. I've added this line right here for term picks, and I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Basically, it's term picks width 100, uh, true color, and then, um, excuse me, sorry lunchtime. Lunch is a uh, fight in my stomach at the moment. Um, and then this just gets rid of any warnings or errors that might pop up. Um, and then I have also added a couple um, more entries here. Now this right here, these if statements and elif and elif, um, is just checking for different kinds of file types. And you know, I went all over the place trying to figure out how I can just kind of dumb this down a little or clean it up. Um, and nothing I tried worked. I, I kid you not, I've tried probably a dozen different ways to go about this, making a list, uh, doing for loops, doing all kinds of other stuff, and just no matter what I did, it didn't work. So I just literally had to list out if file is txt, or if file is sh, or if file is .lua, or if file is, and each individually. So that's where it's at right now. It works, and it works fine. It's just kind of cluttered, and I'd like a different way to do it. So if you have any ideas, you know, shoot me a message in the comments. Let me know, hey, Jake, you're stupid. Why didn't you just do it this way? But um, if, if you got any input, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, my brain's kind of fried from looking at it. But basically, uh, the other main thing I changed besides adding a couple entries here is, so if I've got, like, text files and stuff, it's going to open them in Vim. If I have, like, um, uh, Word documents or uh, LibreOffice documents, it's going to open them in LibreOffice. Um, if I have PDFs, it's going to open them in Evans or however you pronounce that. Um, and if I have um, uh, JPEGs or PNGs or whatever, it's going to open them in uh, SXIV. And then if I have an XCF, which is an editable, editable. Uh, image file that uh, GIMP uses. It'll open it in GIMP for me. So basically it'll look at what kind of file it is and adjust what it does based on uh, what the file type is. But the other thing I also added was a while loop. So at the very beginning here I added this while loop so that way when you are inside this quote unquote CD command file manager I've now created um, when you click on a directory, instead of just CDing into that directory like it did before and closing out Fuzzy Finder, now it stays in kind of like Ranger does. Now, I'm not going anywhere near what Ranger does. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to compare this to Ranger or any other terminal file manager because those are far more extensive than what this does. But let's just go ahead and compare the two here real quick. So if we go to Workspace 2 here and let's go ahead and launch a terminal. And let's clear the screen and zoom in. And if I do Ranger, this is the terminal file manager I use right now. If I do Ranger, you can see it opens up. Um, you can scroll down through the different, uh, in the current directory, through the different directories and files. And then you have your uh, next directory here and your last directory here. And so say we went into .config, we could just click on that. And then we're in .config and we could see over here. And if we go down to, um, let's say, what do we got here? Let's go into awesome. And then we'll go into themes and then go into power arrow and then theme and you can see you've got the uh, preview of what the file looks like over there or if you go down to the image then uh, you have a preview of the image over there well that's ranger and that's the way ranger works let's go over and launch another terminal here on the next workspace um, and let's go ahead and clear the screen 
and let's zoom in. And now we're going to use my CD command. So remember, if I did CD and then put uh, lot dot local after it, it's just going to CD like normal, correct? So let's clear the screen. Let's go home. And now let's do CD space and do nothing. So now you guys have all seen this. Um, it looks relatively similar to like Ranger or something. And I can scroll down through my list of directories in here. And you can see the preview window over here. And if I go down to like dot config, I can use alt and then J and K to scroll through the um, preview window. Um, I can also look at, uh, say, my, let's see, do I got any files in this directory? Yeah, test.txt, you can see it, it'll give you a preview of the, the file, just like it does in Ranger. Um, but now, let's say I wanted to CD into config. Well, if I was, before I made my changes, if I clicked on this, it would just CD me into .config and it would close out this FCF menu. But now, if I CD into .config, I go on that and I hit enter, now it just brings me into the .config directory and I can now scroll up and go through my .config directory. Um, so as now I can scroll down here and go into awesome and you can see then it's got a list of that directory there. If I hit enter, now we're in that directory. And now say I want to go into my RC Lua and oh, let's see here. Again, I can hit the alt key and use J and K to scroll down and preview the file. Or if I hit enter, it's just going to open that file up in Vim for me. Now if I quit, it's just going to bring me right back into this. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've changed the big time. But now let's go down and let's take a look and go in themes. The other thing I've changed, and it obviously doesn't work as well as it does in Ranger, but if we go down and let's go to Power Arrow, and now let's go, we've got my bind clock, or not mine, but this is a different one from uh, um, somebody's uh, awesome theme. Um, if you've seen my videos, you know I have a binary clock as well. <laughs> These are the icons. This is the theme, so you can see the theme. But now if I have, and I scroll down to this uh, PNG, um, if we look right here, this term picks that I was talking about in the beginning, if we scroll over that, oh, look at that. Now we have a little bit of a file preview or image preview. It is pixelated, obviously, because it is done in ASCII, but um, we can actually kind of get an idea of what the picture is in that um, in that file now without having to open it and then you know close it if it's in the wrong one and go find the other one So if you have a long list of uh, Images you can kind of scroll over them and actually have somewhat of a preview of that image as well So I've really kind of gotten carried away with this this started out just I just wanted to have a CD function that I could CD and then tab through my different options and hit enter and then CD into that directory That's all I wanted. That's all this started out as um, just kind of like the same turn or the same functionality that ZSH has and it is morphed into this you know whole taking over my <laughs> all my spare time um, because I'm sitting here constantly trying to think of oh well, can I, I wonder if I can get this working on it now oh I wonder if I can just CD and move into the next directory now oh now I wonder if I can get image preview um, so it really kind of took over so that being said again it's my CD function it's right here um, it is on my github and my GitLab page if you want to check it out um, but again let's go ahead here let's close out let's launch the terminal again and let's clear the screen and zoom in and we'll do cd space hit enter and there it is and now say you are in here and you go into the dot config but you don't want to stay in here all you got to do is hit escape and you're out but you have cd'd right into that dot config directory so that being said that's kind of the new um the new standard for this uh quote unquote cd command that is now turned into the cd file-ish manager-ish uh just I don't know. So again, I got a little carried away. So I hope you found it interesting and cool. And if you like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, whatever you think. If you think it's stupid, let me know that too. I don't care. I really want to know what you guys think about that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless.